so friends let me move on to set number 3 on the topic algebra right so friends here is question number 11 so friends we need to find what is the value of this expression that is a root of 7 divided by root of 16 plus 6 root 7 minus root of 16 minus 6 root 7 so friends always remember that while solving set number 2 that is 7th question and 9th question I am repeatedly saying one concept right if you find an expression like this definitely we need to convert this expression in terms of a plus b the whole square or a minus b the whole square so friends listen carefully friends the numerator is root 7 divided by so friends my only target is to convert this expression in terms of a plus b the whole square so friends listen carefully so i'm just going to write this 16 as 9 plus 7 plus 6 root 7 so friends can you able to understand this concept right so 9 plus 7 will be 16 so 9 plus 7 plus 6 root 7 right and uh, similarly i am just going to write this expression as 9 plus 7 minus 6 root 7 so friends next step is listen here friends so listen carefully this 9 i am just going to write this as 3 square right and uh, here it is 7 right 7 can be written as a root of 7 whole square plus 2 into 3 into root 7 so friends finally i have converted this expression in terms of a square plus b square plus 2ab similarly here the part is root of 9 plus 7 minus 6 root 7 so similarly this can be written as 9 can be written as 3 square and the 7 can be written as a root of 7 the whole square so minus of 2 into 3 into root 7 so friends finally we have converted both the expression in terms of a plus b the whole square and a minus b the whole square so a square plus b square minus 2ab so here it is a square plus b square plus 2ab right so finally this can be written as a root of 7 divided by so friends this can be written as 3 plus a root 7 the whole square so minus of similarly this can be written as 3 minus root 7 the whole square so this is equals to a root of 7 divided by so friends listen here friends we know that root can be written as 1 by 2 so we can cancel root and square similarly we can cancel root and square so the denominator will be 3 plus a root 7 so minus 3 so minus 3 and here it is minus of minus will be plus root 7 so the numerator will be root 7 divided by so friends 3 minus 3 so we can cancel both the terms the remaining will be root 7 root 7 so this can be written as 2 root 7 so finally we can cancel root 7 and root 7 so finally we got an answer for question number 11 that is 1 by 2 so friends always remember that if you find an expression like this try to convert the expression in terms of a plus b the whole square or a minus b the whole square question number 12 so find the value of 1 divided by cube root of 4 plus cube root of 2 plus 1 so friends listen here friends our target to find what is the value of that expression right so friends i think uh, we don't want to concentrate on the numerator because the numerator is 1 but the denominator is cube root of 4 and cube root of 2 so friends listen here friends i'm just going to write this expression as 1 divided by so this 4 can be written as 2 square right and uh, 2 square so power 1 by 3 so this can be written as 2 power 1 by 3 plus 1 so friends i think uh, this looks like a format called a square right so friends i'm just going to write this as 2 power 1 by 3 so 2 power 1 by 3 the whole square so finally we can say that a square uh, b square but this is a b right so a square b square a b so friends listen here friends i'm just going to take conjugate for only for the last two terms friends listen here i'm just going to take conjugate only for the last two terms this is 2 power 1 by 3 minus 1 divided by 2 power 1 by 3 minus 1 so finally we can surely say that this will be a minus b a square plus a b plus b square i think everyone knows this formula right so a cube minus b cube will be a minus b so a square plus a b plus b square so finally we bring the denominator term to one of the formula that is a cube minus b cube so a minus b a square plus a b plus b square so friends the numerator is 2 power 1 by 3 can be written as cube root of 2 right so cube root of 2 minus 1 divided by so this complete term can be written as a cube minus b cube so the value of a will be 2 power 1 by 3 so 2 power 1 by 3 the whole cube so minus of b cube so the value of b will be 1 so this can be i think we can cancel 3 and 3 so the resultant 2 minus 1 the denominator will be 1 so finally we can say that the numerator will be cube root of 2 minus 1 so which is answer for question number 12 so friends always remember that if you need to crack a question in algebra you should know all the different formulas in it question number 13 
so find the value of 1 divided by root of 1 plus root of 2 and 1 divided by root of 2 plus root of 3 and similarly it goes on till root of 99 plus root of 100 so friends listen here friends it is one of the most important question for the recent SSC exams and railway exams right so many competitive exam it is one of the most important question so friends listen here first of all I am just going to write this expression as listen carefully friends 1 divided by root 2 plus root 1 both are same right root of 1 plus root of 2 is equal to root of 2 plus root of 1 so similarly I am just going to write the second term as root of 3 plus root of 2 and the third term as root of 4 plus root of 3 and similarly this goes on till root of 100 plus root of 99 so friends i'm just going to concentrate only on the first term right listen carefully friends first of all let me take this term so 1 divided by root of 2 plus root of 1 so this can be simplified as 1 divided by root 2 plus root 1 so when we take conjugate that is root 2 minus root 1 divided by root 2 minus root 1 so this can be written as the numerator will be root 2 minus root 1 right and the denominator will be a plus b and a minus b that is a square minus b square so a square will be root 2 the whole square that is 2 b square that is root 1 the whole square will be 1 so 2 minus 1 the denominator will be 1 so finally the answer for only for the first term will be root 2 minus root 1 similarly when we concentrate on the second term friends listen here root 3 plus root 2 so we are getting 1 divided by root 3 plus root 2 so when we take conjugate so root 3 minus root 2 divided by root 3 minus root 2 so finally the numerator part will be root 3 minus root 2 and the denominator will be a plus b and a minus b right so a square will be 3 and b square will be 2 so a minus b 3 minus 2 will be result and will be 1 so again the denominator will be 1 so similarly it goes on till root of 100 plus 99 friends listen carefully while calculating the first term we are getting root 2 minus 1 listen here friends most important step so first term will be root 2 minus 1 plus and the second term we are getting root 3 minus root 2 and the third term will be root 4 minus root 3 can you able to understand this concept right similarly it goes on till root of 100 minus root of 99 so friends listen here friends root 2 minus 1 right so root 3 minus root 2 root 4 minus root 3 so similarly it goes on till root of 100 minus root of 99 so friends here it is plus root 2 and here it is minus root 2 right for the first term when we concentrate on the first term first term and the last term of the second expression gets cancelled right similarly here it is plus root 3 and here it is minus root 3 similarly here it is plus 4 then the resultant next term will be minus 4 so when we cancel all the terms for the last expression we will cancel root of 99 right so friends when we cancel all the terms in the first expression we will get minus 1 right and in the last expression we will get root of 100 so finally this can be written as minus 1 so root of 100 will be 10 so 10 minus 1 the resultant answer will be 9 so finally we can say that answer for question number 30 that is 9 so friends one of the most important question remember that this is the repeatedly asked SSC and also railway exams right so try to concentrate this question so friends first of all we have converted this expression in terms of root 2 plus 1 similarly root 3 plus root 2 and root 4 plus root 3 so after writing this we have concentrated on the single term while taking conjugate for the first term we are getting an answer root 2 minus 1 so similarly while taking conjugate for the second term root 3 minus 2 it goes on right so root 2 minus 1 root 3 minus 2 root 4 minus 3 and the next term will be a uh, root 5 minus root 4 right so similarly when we cancel all the terms in the first expression minus 1 we are not cancelling it right and similarly in the last term we won't cancel root of 100 so minus 1 plus root of 100 so we know that root of 100 will be 10 so 10 minus 1 the resultant answer will be 9 so finally we can say that answer for question number 13 that is 9 question number 14 so if x is equal to root of 5 minus 2 divided by root of 5 plus 2 then x square plus x power minus 2 is so friends by using this x value our target to find what is the value of x square plus x power minus 2 so friends if you are brilliant you can directly substitute the value of x here right this is one way of solving or otherwise listen here friends you know what is the value of x right 
so i think let me find what is the value of 1 by x friends so 1 by x will be a root of 5 that is reciprocal of this number so root of 5 plus 2 divided by root of 5 minus 2 so friends we already know that in the given question that is x is equal to root 5 minus 2 divided by root 5 plus 2 and we have found what is the value of 1 by x that is reciprocal of this number so finally so x plus 1 by x can be written as a root of 5 minus 2 divided by root of 5 plus 2 similarly plus 1 by x will be root of 5 plus 2 divided by a root of 5 minus 2 I think uh, let me take an LCM friend so when we take LCM so this can be written as a root of 5 plus 2 into root of 5 minus 2 so here it is when we cross this this can be written as root of 5 minus 2 the whole square plus root of 5 plus 2 the whole square so friends the denominator parts looks like a plus b a minus b that is a square minus b square so a square will be root of 5 the whole square so friends listen here friends the denominator will be root of 5 the whole square so minus b square will be 2 square right so next is uh, this looks like a format called a minus b the whole square so a square will be root of 5 the whole square so plus b square will be 4 so minus of 2 into a into b so a into b right so similarly here it is a plus b the whole square so a square so next is b square then next is 2 a b right so similarly 2 into a into b so friends finally i think here it is minus 2 root 5 root 2 and here it is plus root 2 that is 2 into 2 into root 5 i think we can cancel both the terms right so the remaining are root 5 the whole square will be 5 and similarly this will be 4 so 5 plus 4 will be 9 friends and similarly root of 5 the whole square will be 5 and 2 square will be 4 so 9 plus 9 will be 18 so we can say that the value of x plus 1 by x is equal to numerator will be 18 right and the denominator root of 5 square will be 5 and 2 square will be 4 so 5 minus 4 will be 1 the resultant denominator value will be 1 so we don't want to concentrate the denominator right so finally we got a value that is x plus 1 by x is equal to 18 but our target to find what is the value of x square so friends x power minus 2 i think everyone knows this x power minus 2 can be written as 1 by x square both are same so friends listen here friends so x plus 1 by x the whole square you know formula for this right so a plus b the whole square will be a square plus b square plus 2 into a into b right so friends this looks like a plus b the whole square will be a square plus b square plus 2ab so here we can cancel x square so friends our target to find what is the value of x square plus 1 plus x square right so this can be done as x square 1 divided by x square is equals to x plus 1 by x the whole square so minus of 2 i think everyone knows what is the value of x plus 1 by x which is 18 right so this can be written as 18 square minus 2 so this will be 324 minus 2 the resultant will be 322 so finally we got an answer for question number 4 that is 322 right one of the interesting question so friends always remember that you know how to find x plus 1 by x is equal to 18 till now right but here it is a formula that is a plus b the whole square will be a square plus b square plus 2ab right so here we can cancel x square and x square so the remaining terms are x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 but our target to find what is the value of x square plus 1 by x square by keeping this term aside then the remaining terms are x plus 1 by x the whole square minus 2 and we have already found what is the value of x plus 1 by x so x plus 1 by x will be 18 so 18 square will be 324 and the remaining will be minus 2 so 324 minus 2 so finally we got an answer for question number 4 that is 322